Hello everyone, it's Shazib Bufredi from Game Logics, and this is the 16th part of our tutorial series how to make color switch game in Unity. Okay, so uh, in the few past uh, days, um, I was uh, uploading a video, but uh, I was facing some issue with our project and I was figuring out what was causing the issue, and I finally did. Uh, okay so first let me show you let's run the project that what's the problem with our project so as you can see as you can see I'm okay so let's i muted the sound okay so as you can see I'm clicking the button I am clicking the button but uh, the button is not working okay like it's not clickable and so this was the issue and I tried a lot but uh, finally I got uh, uh, I got the solution for this problem okay so okay, the problem was simple but uh, I like you can say I wasted a lot of time on it okay because I was trying few different things and uh, they were not working and finally a simple trick worked okay so so the click uh, the button is not clickable okay so uh, let me show you what was causing the problem okay so the the problem uh, that uh, you are facing right now is uh, the ray cost target okay so it's check recast target is enabled basically what it does a recast target it um, blocks uh, the ui elements uh, from clicking like uh, if you want some feature in your game like uh, let's say uh, you have a ui window okay and uh, there are some ui buttons or some things uh, behind uh, that window uh, which you don't want to be clicked okay so for that purpose uh, you will uh, make enable this uh, recast target like you will check it okay so it won't allow uh, uh, so it won't allow the uh, ui elements uh, that might be buttons or text whatever okay so they won't be clickable okay but if you want something to be clicked okay like you like you want uh, to click something behind uh, that window or that might be an image like in our case it's an image okay it's our feeder image and uh, this feeder image is not letting me is not allowing me to click our uh, play button okay so now if i disable this uh, recast target now so let's uh, save the project now i will be able to click our button okay let me show you let's run the project again so let's disable the sound uh, and now let's see okay so as you can see uh yeah we have a simple problem uh, the button is clickable but i haven't yeah uh, scene build scene with build index 2 could not be loaded because it has not been added to the build settings okay so the problem is we i haven't added our uh, gameplay scene in our um, build settings so let's do that first i forgot it let's do that and it's our gameplay scene and let's see now okay so this time we will go to the uh, game place you know okay after clicking that play button so as you can see now we are in uh, the uh, gameplay uh, scene okay and i haven't created anything in this scene i have just uh, written a simple script for this um, scene uh in the port 15 which was our end game canvas controller okay so let's create the canvas for uh, uh that scene so let's go to our gameplay scene and uh, let's create the canvas 
okay and uh, screen space overlay and scale with screen size okay and match um, height okay and let's uh, rename this with uh, uh, end game canvas okay so uh, now let's uh, let's create an image inside this mm. and uh, this should be stretch okay so when you select the stretch option then you uh, to apply that stretch option correctly you will have to uh, apply zero in all uh, the uh, transform okay like left top bottom and every and every transform okay now so it's white let's uh, let's assign a background okay yeah it's a little bit grayish okay like or creamy color but not that uh, too much like its uh, intensity is not high so let's change its color mm. yeah this is good okay so let's call it background panel so our background panel and uh, let's uh, okay so Uh, let's create um, two buttons inside this button and uh, let's uh, delete this text and uh, let me name it uh, home button okay and uh, uh, let's uh, let's create uh, well, let's duplicate this and uh, let's call it uh, replay button so it's our replay button and uh, okay so it's done now let's uh, assign them their sprites which are ones. this way is for replay replay is 245 okay and for this one it should be i think two let's what the hell okay so now let's, uh, let's make them proper they should be 160 and 160 mm. i think it's too big yeah a hundred and hundred would be good yeah it's good now let's make it as well hundred and hundred okay mm. replay button should be it should be here this one should be yeah so all well and good and yeah let's attach the script to this canvas and okay and one other thing that uh, 
I wanted to show you, I wanted to share this knowledge with you is uh, this one. Okay, if you change the inspector to debug mode, then you can see uh, the private uh, data members. Okay, here you can see in game canvas and current score and uh, highest score. Okay, so like if you want to see um, the data members, okay, uh, if they are not public, if they are public, then we can simply easy uh, see them in inspector. But if they are private and you want to see them, so you can do it. Uh, so you can see them by by doing this. Okay, like by changing the uh, canvas to uh, by changing the inspector to debug mode. Okay, so then you will be able to see them. Okay, so let's make it normal again. Okay. So yeah. Uh, let's create images for our banners. Okay, this is our banner one. And uh, let's uh, make it 2000 let's make it 30 and let's let's uh, not 2000 um, 1000 1, let's say 1500 1450 so that yeah i don't want it to exceed in the limits of our uh, canvas okay so yeah, it's good let's change its color it's good let's drag it up yeah and let's create an image inside this for our title Let's assign it it's too small let's make it a bit 170 and 170 I think it's good. I'll make it uh, one height should be less okay, like say let's one fifty. I think it looks good. Okay. Let's create two texts. So the text uh, two texts. One should be like um, current score field okay uh, they should be exactly the same like we write in the like like i wrote in the script okay they should be exactly the same 
which one is let me see current score feel this one okay it's uh, yeah current score current score field look at the spelling should be exactly the same current score field and uh, this should be our uh, score okay then and let's make it I think uh, we can't see them. Mm. Okay, so let's change this. Okay, so let's overflow it. Mm. Let's overflow it. Now it's visible. Okay, so horizontal is okay. It's ramped, but so that's that's what it was calling problem uh, vertically, like it should overflow. Okay, overflow means like when it doesn't fit in the in that uh, area which is specified for it. Okay, then we should like select the overflow. Okay like by force adjusting it in that specified area okay and let's yeah let's change its color to white so now it's properly visible and let's uh, change its position a bit yeah so it should be like in the center now it's good Mm. okay 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 and yeah let's uh okay let's first create another text which will display the actual score where is it Current score. Current score. Let's make it uh, forty. Let's select the bold option, and uh, I know we can't see it. Alignment should be center. This should overflow. Let's drop it. Color should be white. Yeah, so it's visible now properly. Okay. Let's drag it a bit. Yeah. Let's save our project. So it's like current score now we have to create um, another banner uh, for our best score another image the same way like we did with our with our fourteen fifty and uh, 30 drag it a bit down and uh, oh it's for okay like here as you can see like i was seeing like it's a, a bit exceeded from our canvas and yeah it should be 50 not 60. should be 50. okay 
let's name it BNL2 and uh, let's uh, change its color which one so I like this one okay like yeah whatever you want to choose the color up to you okay, just get done with it with it okay okay now let's create uh, what do we need texts yeah text this should be like uh, best score mm -hmm. and, uh, yeah this should be best score as well best score uh, it should be 40 and should overflow vertically yeah and let's uh, change its color so as you can see vertically we have overflow on it but as you can see it's not fitting in this line so for that what do we need we need to make it overflow horizontally as well so that let me show you here let's see okay so as you can see its horizontal area is that much okay so if we overflow it then it will let's see what happens then it will come in this uh, line okay it will increase the uh, specified area see the area is uh, uh, not increased I was wrong but it forces uh, the text to fit in that area okay and let's uh, drag it a bit high so that it can yeah but it's let's increase the banner height a bit let's make it 40. okay so now it's good okay now it's uh, good yeah i don't know i'm changing the color i don't know which one okay what suits you the best do that mm okay now let's create another uh, text and that text spelling should be exactly the same like mm, let me check that first our script this this text okay highest score field okay so the spelling should be exactly the same because uh, the function find will look for this for this spelling okay it will check whether we have it or not in the uh, in the hierarchy window so let's write the highest score field okay yeah highest score field highest score field the text should be zero 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 and should be 40 color should be what have I selected best fit color should be white where is that and it should uh, I can't see it
Y. Yeah. Why is the test not visible? Yeah, overflow. Okay. Let's drag it a bit up. And so that like the both should be aligned. And then let's apply in the bowl feature. Okay, so they look like same. Okay, so now it's good. Let's save the project and uh, our end game canvas is ready. Okay, yeah, and one thing that we need to do is let's uh, assign our end game canvas here and let's assign proper functions to the to, to our home button and replay button which we have written in our script and game canvas controller so this button is home button oh yeah it's the function name is main menu button okay it's okay it's not a problem so yeah and let's do this for this one as well and uh, game button replay yeah so everything is good so this is it for this tutorial and if you have any problem or any questions then let me know in the comments and if you haven't subscribed my channel then uh, do a subscription and press the bell icon for notifications and uh, yeah i have a, a good news for you guys uh, if you are looking for a multiplayer ludo online game uh, i am planning to make that uh, after finishing this game okay so yeah so let me know what you feel about that okay and i see you in the next uh, tutorial